recently a company located in Germany, Rien Metal Man Military Vehicles GmbH, has just unveiled its KF-51 Panther at the Military Hardware Exhibition in Europe this week. The tank has advanced armor and a formidable 130mm gun. Rien Metal calls this tank an apex predator that dominates and destroys. According to a corporate news release, the Panther was designed from the ground up to deliver the highest lethality on the battlefield, combined with an integrated survivability concept and connected by a fully digitized NGV-8 NATO standardization data backbone to enable next-generation operational capabilities and automation. Rian Metal declares the Panther is the future of technology. The technology is impressive here indeed, and it starts with the Smoothball 130mm future gun system that outclasses the Leopard 2's 120mm model. The auto-loading gun can fire sabot rounds and airburst munitions. The new gun also has a range 50% greater than the older 120mm. The gun works in tandem with a launch system for the Hero 120 anti-tank loitering munition drone. The new tank is also equipped with a 12.7mm coaxial machine gun, while another remote-controlled 7.62mm gun sits at the rear of the turret. There are day-night sights and a laser rangefinder. The Panther has active, reactive, and passive armor. Together, they make up the Strike Shield Active Protection System. There is the new top attack protection system for the turret that shields against anti-tank missiles swooping in from above to target what is usually a tank's most vulnerable area. The Panther weighs around 59 tons, which makes it lighter and perhaps more maneuverable than the Leopard 2 and other NATO main battle tanks. There is no upgrade to the engine, this will be the same 1,475 horsepower diesel engine that the Leopard 2 uses, a continuity that will help crews already accustomed to the Leopard 2 engines. The Panther has a range of 310 miles. The tank has a three-man crew. The digitized system allows for seamless communication on battle assignments, as well as sensing enemy tanks and incoming rounds. Each member of the crew can be cross-trained to work different aspects of operability. There could even be an unmanned model someday. Rian Metal claims they designed the tank on their own, and it is not clear how much input the German military had on its design.